who makes you lonely? Those who claim to love you, with whom you are attached, to whom you are attached, they make you lonely. Outsiders don't make you lonely. They are outsiders. So the root of loneliness is attachment. Then he said, so far I have been conversing with the, my friend within me. Now you diverted my mind and make me lonely. You will be not lonely if you feel the presence of the Lord within. The moment you forget that, you will become lonely. Because any relationship in the external world has no power, strength and capacity to give you freedom from loneliness. Not possible. Therefore, because all the relationship, anything external, is subject to change, death, decay and decomposition, everything is fastly fast-freeing, disappointing. Yet, we live in the world, we smile, we enjoy, we laugh and we amuse ourselves. In reality, you are lonely, all are lonely. That loneliness will be there because you have forgotten the real friend within yourself and you have established friendship with the strangers and the strangers cannot be relied upon. You assume the duties, what you call duties. This is my wife, this is my children, this is my home, this is my... All these assumptions create attachment for you. It's a book, reality. But in the heart of hearts, if you know, that the greatest of all the friends is within me, and then you will be never there, lonely. There is only one way of having freedom from that loneliness, which is the source of many, many psychosomatic diseases. By being constantly aware of the truth within you, the greatest of all friends. In the external world everything changes. Look at how much love do we have for our body, consciously and unconsciously? From morning till evening we cater, we look after this body. And it's, it's frail. It's not something that any moment, you know, it crumbles. So much time with you, and we forget that there is someone eternally seated within us who is our real friend, we forget that. The constantly present friend within you is present there. So I am going to make you aware that presence, that friend within you, you need very closeness, and that's what the third path is called Samaya. I am with you. When you have this awareness that Lord is with me, Lord of life is with me, then there will be no fear. Fear of what? It has only two reasons, of losing what you have and of not gaining what you want.
and you all are afraid of your bodies. Because mind nobody can take. It's such a dirty thing nobody wants. <laughs> if you offer your mind to somebody, you cannot do it. Because mind does not belong to you, you have no control. You belong to the mind and you are giving your owner instead of giving your slave. The day you are the owner of your mind, master of your mind, then you give, that is called self-surrender. Otherwise, it's just a, just something, unauthorized giving. So such a mind, which does not know how to follow, how to be directed, how to be orderly. Such a mind needs a particular method so that mind goes that way, flows that way. Anyone who thinks that mind can be stopped and you, one can stop thinking, that's not right method. Mind should be taught where to flow, which way to flow, how its energy can be used. And that particular method is best of the methods where you allow your mind to flow consciously and that is useful method. Body is yours and it's a good instrument. Soul, of course, that you are. Senses are yours. Breath is yours. It's only one thing, alien, that is mind, which does not cooperate. How to establish friendship with that alien? Santukaram, Janeswar, Samarth Ramdas, everyone talked about that mind. You see, even some of the Navayana Buddhists say, no mind business. I don't want to accept that mind exists. But that's not possible, you see. Therefore, to make, to chalk out a road, you see, a way, for the mind to travel, it has a habit of traveling from one place to another. If you say, I am speaking truth that I am here, I am not going to believe you, because mentally you are not here. You see. Such a mind, which has its moods, manners, which, which is equipped, you see, fully, with all atomic powers, which was not trained to be creative, it's there with you. And whole of the body lies in that mind, but whole of the mind is not in the body. That's the serious problem. Psychologists of last century, Interpreted in, say, you are carrying that bag with yourself. You see. The brighter you make through light, the brighter you are, the brighter your, that bag is, that shadow is. Therefore, I have started describing you have more questions, creative questions, that, then I, I will start my subject. Yes, sir. Uh, forgive me Gudeo, for the yesterday's question, but uh, I would like the clarification in your talk. <coughs> the relationship between Turiya, Samadhi, and Sandhari and Vipika. Turiya, Samadhi, that state, Sandhari, Lahari, Tirpura Sundari, 